Canola School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Alberta Canola Producers Commission, SAS Canola, and Manitoba Canola Girl. Mario Tenuta of the University of Manitoba joins us here on uh, Real Agriculture. And Mario always has something interesting to tell us about living organisms in the soil and uh, talking about canola and the impact it has on uh, on fungi in, in the soil. Mario, it can have an impact on uh, crops following canola in, uh, in the rotation. Right, Calvin. So um, canola is a plant that does not uh, form associations with mycorrhiza fungi. And because of that... It's not feeding these mycorrhizae fungi. So when we grow crops on stubble of canola, we can be having quite a reduced population of the mycorrhiza, which depending on the crop and some other management practices can uh, severely um, limit early season phosphorus acquisition and compromise yields in cases. So what are some options that growers can take then to, uh, to manage, manage for that or, or adjust to that? Well, one of them is the selection of the crop on the canola stubble. So for example, selecting a crop that is very dependent on mycorrhiza, such as flax or corn, could be asking for uh, potential problems. So we often recommend that uh, following uh, canola to, on canola stubble to grow crops that are um, medium to light and uh, requiring mycorrhiza. So cereals, so barley, uh, oats, uh, wheat uh, would be options. Uh, potential, and also soybean would be an option and then the year following those crops then to go with more of a mycorrhizal uh, heavily dependent crop such as corn or, or flax. Okay, what about starter phosphorus? Starter phosphorus can overcome the uh, population reduction in the mycorrhiza uh, following the, on canola stubble. The starter phosphorus obviously would have to be placed with the seed or, or banded to encourage the early season uptake so that is, that is an option. Of course, and that will uh, require money for the, for the cost of that fertilizer. So with these are worth, keep in mind, these are soils that are decent testing in, in phosphorus. In terms of the soil test phosphorus are, are decent levels. It's just that that starter phosphorus assists with that early, early season uh, phosphorus acquisition that we may have lost through having the, the fungi present in the soil. Okay. Now, growing canola isn't the only thing that can reduce mycorrhizae populations either, right? Right, absolutely. So we can, uh, any, any time that we have uh, a growing season without something that can be a beneficial host to the mycorrhizae, we can get a reduction in population because they, they're thriving. They need to uh, live with plants and without the suitable plants, their populations will, will, will drop. So fallow, either uh, summer fallow or uh, we're a case where we may be too wet to seed and then we've gone without uh, seeding that year. If we've gone without seeding that year, we can find it's a benefit just to put in a crop, even as a green manure, to encourage um, that we have uh, mycorrhizal um, uh, dependency and, and, and promotion of the mycorrhizae. Of course, don't do a, a mustard or a canola, a green manure, but uh, another a crop that would be a, a grass or um, another um, broadleaf. What about tillage, just plain tillage? Tillage will affect because what happens is the mycorrhiza are form a network that ram- ramify through the soil that solubilize phosphorus and then translocate it through the hyphae, this network, bring it to the plant. And the tillage disrupts that network. It actually breaks it up, disintegrates it. The plant has to rebuild it and that's an energy cost and needs that energy to take largely from, from plants. So if it's not in association with plants, then it can't rebuild. And we do our tillage mostly when there's no plants. So it's really challenging for them to rebuild. So um, if we can go with no-till, that would definitely uh, benefit uh, the early season acquisition uh, and the benefit of uh, the mycorrhizae. All right. Thanks for your time, Mario. Thanks, Calvin. Anytime.